When companies make respecting cultural differences or understanding various cultures a primary incentive in how they go about designing and deploying their technologies, they create a user base where potentially none existed before or where a small user base existed. In this region of the world, technology use is an extremely high rate. So you're actually ignoring a very large user population by making it difficult for people to navigate your technologies in ways that are appropriate or in ways that make it easy for them to really express their identities in the ways they want to express their identities. And so we, what we want to do is help people to help to offer people the best of both worlds so people can have systems that both represent their cultural needs and values, but also have the kind of highest quality functionality and uh, the most engaging technologies. And so the starting point for the project is just understanding that uh, everybody these days uses virtual identities, whether you're using an e-commerce account, whether you're playing a video game and you have an avatar or a character, or whether you're using social media and you have an Instagram or Twitter account, those systems aren't designed with diverse cultural values in mind. So what we're trying to do is understand how countries use and perceive digital media and to then create design principles around how we can create technologies that are more specific to a country audience and provide technologies that are imbued with their values and their social norms. But secondarily, we're not just producing these principles, we're also producing the tools that analysts can use to better understand the kind of patterns of, of media usage, such as in social media and uh, video games. So the structure of the project, the two-pronged approach, computational and qualitative, I head up the qualitative side. This first and foremost involves talking with countries who use digital technology. I focused on countries who are gamers, who play online games as well as games on consoles. But I've also been doing a lot of work previous to this on talking with countries about their uses and views of social media in general, so you know, any social media really. From that, we can start to understand and gain insight into what they like about digital technology and gaming, uh, maybe what they don't like, uh, what they would like to see changed, and how we can take these, these data and think about design implications going forward. The computational aspect of the project involves looking at primarily social media data right now that's publicly available and analyzing it at quite a large scale. So for example, on, on photos that are available publicly uh, via Instagram. We also thought we can do a different type of study and that's where Avatar comes in. The Advanced Identity Representation uh, Avatar Creator and Data Collection System. Avatar is our own experimental setting. So it's a setting where people can come in, they can customize their own avatar or social media profile, and we collect very fine-grained data about this customization. We're developing easy-to-use interfaces that people who aren't trained in artificial intelligence or even the social sciences could begin to use these tools and find these patterns and discover them and then have that inform their system design. The work is foundational in the sense that the methods that we develop that work specifically in Qatar, those methods could then be taken and used within other regions for people to design software that's customized to the cultural needs and the particular around virtual identity representations of that particular region. Also the kind of AI tools that other people can use. It's not just algorithms that can be used by computer scientists, but graphical user interfaces and tools can be easily used by others to find these kind of patterns. And then an example that's a kind of proof of concept that we can based on this knowledge, customize a system like an educational game to the local values that exist within Qatar. I would say that we are, we are breaking new ground when it comes to bringing together the computational expertise that is at CSAIL with the socially oriented data, thick data, that we're uncovering and collecting here in Qatar. And this marriage of the data um, enables us to answer bigger questions than either one can do on its own. It's exciting because no one's ever studied this before. And ultimately, a lot of our research is about empowering people to have their own cultural values and uh, needs expressed through technology. We're not just interested in it from the research perspective of building tools, but we actually want these tools and the types of systems they enable and the types of new innovative industries that, that they can help to catalyze to be in the hands of uh, people to see this flourish in a way that supports and, and empowers the diversity of users.